I'm not doing nothing. You're touching me, brother. I'm not touching me. You need to get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands. Hand. Yes, you record. We encourage that. We encourage that. We encourage that. First Amendment right. Honor your oath. I'm not blocking nothing. You block it. I'm by myself. Sir, you're blocking the floor. I'm not blocking. Tell me where to stand. Tell me where to stand. I'm not blocking anything. I'm not blocking anything. I'm not blocking anything. I'm not blocking anything. Don't try anything. Yo, Adams, we call you out, Adams. Sir. We call you out. First Amendment right. First Amendment right. No, I don't have to leave. I'm not doing anything. First Amendment right. We say no to the city of yes. We say no to the city of yes. Adam, we call you out, Adam. We call you out. We call you out. We call out the mayor. We say no to the city of yes. He signed that seat. Double Pagnon. I haven't done anything. I haven't done anything. Look at what they're doing. This is censorship in New York City. We say no to the city of yes. He signed, he signed our petition. He signed our petition to reform the Tax and Limousine Commission. He's failing the New Yorker. He's failing the New Yorker. <laughs> uh, we, uh, I want to really thank uh, our, the president of AMA, uh, who's here, Mayor uh, Reed, as well as my other mayors from across the entire country. They're here for the AMA. Uh, summit that's taking place, African American Mayors Association, and we will all tell you the problems we're facing in New York is no different than across the entire country. So it's imperative uh, that today was a focus on technology and how we can use technology to run our city. He is, he is the mayor of New York City. I am a taxi driver advocate. We have his name on our petition to reform the Taxi Limousine Commission. The drivers are being locked out. He doesn't want to support the reform, even though he put his name on that petition. We have bills for the benefit of the drivers, and the city council doesn't want to pass those bills. In the city council, what we got? We got Puerto Ricans, we got Dominicans, we got blacks, huh? We even got a black mayor. And they want to, they want to blame Donald Trump. They want to blame the white man. But they don't want to screwing up our city. And they don't want to hear that. And we go to city council, they know, he knows who I am. I got his phone number, I can text him. We don't have nothing personal against him but he don't honor his name. He should have honored his name. We got his name. Eric Leroy Adams. He doesn't honor his name. And so why, why this event? Because, he, because it's not easy to, to catch him. Okay. Because he doesn't want to meet with me. So you don't he, follow him around? No, I don't follow him around. Oh, okay. They told me that he was showing up here, so I showed up. That's all. I don't follow him around. I don't need to follow him around. I'm too busy doing other things. How but do you he, feel about he, him uh, taking the mi the, mi the migrants, the violence, huh? the inflation, the city of yes. huh? The rezoning of our city. He's for the developers. Is this him? No, oh, he took off already. These, oh. are probably, these are probably the other ones. Oh. He kind of took off already. He took off that way. These are other elected officials. Look at this. He knows it. He doesn't honor his and name. So, That's the most important thing. And so, how did you feel about them removing you from, from what happened? How did you feel about them removing you from that? Censorship in New York City. Every time, I've been arrested three times already. Did the mayor, the mayor don't care about you guys, you know that. He don't give a shit about you guys, you know that. You know that. <laughs> the mayor will be a cop hater, but he can't be because he used to be a former cop. Otherwise, he'd be on the bandwagon, defunding the cops. Huh? People getting killed and the next day they're, they're, they're let out. I'm an advocate, I raised my voice. I'm a native New York, I was born in this city. If I try to be vocal, what do they say? Speak up, get involved, right? Don't they say that? When you get involved, they don't want to do nothing in the city council. The city council now is trying to strip powers away from the mayor because he's the one that appoints the commissioners. Sanitation, DOT, right? So now they want to strip powers, right? But I already told the city council, what about Salamanca? What about council member Salamanca? His wife was appointed commissioner of the Bronx, the parks in the Bronx, right? Adams did that. Right? The speaker did nothing. The council members don't say nothing. They all know. They know. They know that Salamanca's wife got that job. And they don't do nothing about it. And now they want to strip his powers because he appoints these commissioners. But they never said nothing about Salamanca. And that was in 2022. That was in 2022. The New York Post put it out there. Right? 
and they stay quiet. They're a posse, that's what they are. They're a posse. They don't listen to the people. They do whatever they want. They do whatever they want and they're a posse. We support the Common Sense Caucus. That's who we support, the Common Sense Caucus. You're gonna continue doing what you're doing here? Continue interrupting him until he listens? I'm not interrupting him. I'm trying, he, can, he can pick up the phone. I can sit down and, 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 and talk to him. I don't have to yell at him. But as long as he's gonna avoid me like that, we'll yell at him. We'll put him on the spot because he worries about his image. And this NYPD, they're not there to protect his image. They're there to protect his safety. That's it. That's it. Not his image and not his feelings. That's what that NYPD is not there for that. And we, we don't have nothing against the mayor and we don't want to hurt the mayor. They know he knows how we roll. He knows how we roll. He's just avoiding the truth. We, we advocate with truth and love and we're giving him some tough love and he don't like it. He don't like it. He's screwing up our city. The, sit, the, the immigrants are getting more, more, more powers than the citizens here. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's astonishing. The, the, they almost killed Trump and everybody's happy about it. How are the migrants getting power? More power They're getting more. Listen, when migrants, migrants were never a problem here in New York City. They came, they busted their hole, they worked, they did their thing. Nobody even noticed them. But now it's a different story. Now they come in, they put up in five-star hotels. Huh? They're, getting, uh, uh, they're getting stipends, they're getting money. They're getting cell phones. I hear they're getting iPhones. It's, it's ridiculous. They have power? How do they have power? Huh? How do they get power over, How do they, over uh, Eric Adams? Or something? They use, they, the elected officials use the migrants because it looks, oh my God, it's so nice. They're helping them. But they're not helping the New Yorker. I'm a native New Yorker. They're not helping us. How is that I, affecting you? I know drivers. I know drivers sleeping in their vehicles. I used to sleep in my vehicle. How about, how, you know, charity starts at home. You know, you heard that before, right? We can't take in all these people. The, the way that they're running the city, they, they're running it into the ground. And we gotta, we gotta save our city, the city of yes. You know about the city of yes? It's ridiculous. They wanna, they're old, they're old rezoning laws. They're trying to make it sound like it's old. Just cause something's old doesn't mean it's not good. It's there for, for, for a reason. A lot, of a lot of people oppose that. You got a mayor with a $5,000 suit going to Hudson Yards to cut ribbons for 50 Hudson Yards, right? Rubbing elbow with Stephen Ross, right? That's what he's doing. That's who he cares about, the developers. You can't even live in this city anymore. It's hard to survive in this city. I'm homeless right now. I can't survive in this city. It's terrible.